This report from the Georgia Department of Public Health showing 4,300 new cases of COVID-19 across our state. That report also includes 31 new deaths. CBS 46 has live team coverage tonight on cases in a local school, but we begin with Haley Mason, where more people are getting their vaccines. Haley. Tracy, there's two sides to this coin. There is a group of people that really do not yet trust the vaccines. And then on the other hand, there are people who are flocking to get the shots, trying to avoid catching the Delta variant. The Camacho family rolling up their sleeves with a smile today after taking their first shot of the Pfizer vaccine. Uh, I talked to my mother and uh, she was the one who recommended us to get the vaccine. Uh, and uh, we just decided we were thinking about it. Uh, it took us a minute, but I guess it's just for the best of us and for the best of our family. They're one of hundreds of families flocking to this COVID Care Georgia drive up vaccine site in Duluth. They say they were hesitant at first. Are you kind of relieved to finally get it out of the way? Yeah, yeah, because I think it's a step that we took, so here we are. Organizers with COVID Care Georgia tell me they're preparing for another surge of people wanting the vaccine now that the FDA is much closer to fully approving them. At least 500 people every Wednesday, but uh, today we have been more busy and I believe it's because of the speculations that FDA is going to approve all of vaccines. According to Georgia's Department of Health, more than 4.9 million Georgians have gotten one dose of the vaccine. More than 4.2 Georgians are fully vaccinated, but that's still only 41% of the state. Jasmine Grisham tells me she's getting the shot because she already had a bad bout with COVID. And I couldn't hardly breathe and stuff like that. So it was just something that I just said, okay, if it's gonna help me, then I'm just gonna go ahead and get it. Governor Kemp telling Fox News today he doesn't think a federal mandate on vaccines or masks is necessary. Well, we don't need the White House intervening in, in Georgia. You know, a, a top-down federal policy, one size fits all, is not going to work on masks or vaccines. And yesterday I spoke with a number of emergency room officials in Atlanta who say their emergency rooms are completely full with unvaccinated patients primarily. Uh, Governor Kemp going on to say on Fox that uh, he's leaving it up to the local school systems to determine whether or not to mandate masks. Reporting live in Kennesaw, Haley Mason, CBS 46 News. Haley, thank you.